There are days when we feel tired and energy drained even after a good night's sleep. Fatigue and apathy may have a wide variety of reasons that differ for all people. Even a small solar storm 93 million miles away from the Earth can make your neurons work weaker. Studies have revealed that solar storms are so massive that they can desynchronize our biological clock and cause excessive sleepiness and laziness. That's because electromagnetic activity generated by the disturbance of the sun influences the pineal glands in our brains. Although this gland is very tiny, it plays the role of a big boss in your endocrine system. The pineal gland regulates many vital functions in the human body. One of its key responsibilities is to collect information about the exterior lighting and release melatonin. This hormone helps us relax and go to sleep. Abnormal electromagnetic activities cause excessive production of melatonin, which can result in fatigue and sleepiness even in the middle of the day. But don't rush to put on a handmade tinfoil hat. Luckily, we have some universal tips that you can try at home to reboot your energy levels. No worries, you don't have to buy any expensive special equipment. All you need is your own body and two minutes of your precious time. Place all fingers of both your hands together except for your thumbs. Check whether the second joints of each finger are aligned up. Apply gentle pressure by squeezing the fingers together once you put the joint over the joint and bone on bone. Don't stop using force and keep pressing for one minute. At some point, you may feel changes in your sinuses, which are the hollow spaces behind your eyes, cheekbones, and in your forehead. You may feel a gradual release of pressure in this area, and your nose may even begin to leak. If you try this exercise with someone else, you'll probably notice that the symptoms are different for different people. After one minute, release your fingers and relax your arms completely. Well, can you feel any changes in your body? Some of you may hear a slight ringing sound in the ears, experience dripping from the eustachian tubes, or think that the area around your cheekbones and forehead became lighter. You can use this trick anytime during the day when you feel the need to recharge your battery and restore your inner peace. You can exercise even in the middle of a school test, first date with your crush, or during a stressful business meeting. No one's gonna know it'll be our secret. This refreshing effect appears thanks to our wise and complicated anatomy. Reflexology works so well because the nervous system in your hands is directly interconnected with your head, brain, and sinuses. Mm -hmm. Hands are rich in particular pressure points that can be very helpful when you need an emergency tool to release pain and reboot your brain. When you simulate one of these reflexology points, neurotransmitters in your brain inevitably react. It means that you can trick your brain and make it tell the body to feel good and enthusiastic. And it's absolutely free if you know the right button, of course. So let's dive into the world of superpowers hidden in your hands and explore some of the major points. But if you're currently pregnant, be careful and get your doctor's approval before working with these points. Reflexology might stimulate blood pressure changes in your body and cause an unnecessary hormonal response. One of the points is located over here on your anterior forearm. Its name is Naiguan, or pericardium 6 because it's part of the so-called pericardium channel that stretches inside the arm from the armpit area up to the middle finger. You can find the Naiguan point between the tendons by measuring four fingers below your wrist. If you can't see the area between the tendons clearly, clench your fist. Tension in your arm will make the tendons more obvious. Now. Open your fist, relax the hand, and massage this depression once the point is detected. Apply gentle pressure for four to five seconds. Do this exercise equally on both hands and see if you feel any difference. You can also massage the entire area afterwards to relax the arm if necessary. During this exercise, you should start feeling relaxation that can spread all through the inside of the arm and across into the inside of the chest. If you don't feel any difference, don't get upset and just try again later. Acupuncture masters work with this point to help people feel more energized and focused, ease an upset stomach and headaches and help release discomfort in the arms and chest. 
Some say it's also good for reducing anxiety and travel sickness. Acupressure works by balancing the body's energy flows. These techniques work better when you're completely relaxed. If you're performing this exercise on someone else, you may want to ask them to lie down and let them relax completely. There's another magical pressure point nearby called Zong Zhu. It can help ease neck tension, temporal headaches, and shoulder and upper back pain. This point is usually pretty easy to detect. It's located behind the knuckles in the groove shaped by the tendons of the ring and little fingers. Apply firm pressure to this depression for 4 to 5 seconds. You should feel pleasant flows of relaxation in the arms and cervical spine. Here's another magical button that is very helpful when experiencing anxiety or headache. Find this pressure point in the webbing between your thumb and index finger. Use your index finger and thumb to apply firm pressure to the webbing between your other hand's thumb and index finger. Slowly and gently massage the point for 4 to 5 seconds and then change hands. If you still feel drained after stimulating all the mentioned pressure points, it's time to look around. Chances are that the weather is to blame for your fatigue. If you're in a warm car outdoors on a sweltering day or in a hot classroom, it's pretty natural to feel tired and sleepy. Although we know that heat makes us tired, not many know why exactly. First of all, when it's hot, your body begins to send fluid and blood to the surface of your body to cool down. This process spends some of your body's resources, which can leave you feeling tired. Secondly, keep in mind that dehydration always causes sleepiness and fatigue. When it's hot, your body quickly loses salt and fluid in the form of sweat. Sometimes it's not the heat that makes you feel drained, but rather water misbalance that happens as a result. So drinking sufficient water is crucial if you want to feel energized during the day. And if you prefer stimulating your brain with coffee, remember that caffeinated drinks may act like a diuretic which means that they can cause slight dehydration within your body. Therefore, it's recommended to be careful with consuming too much coffee and drink still water to replenish the natural balance. Speaking of temperatures, studies have revealed that too cold or too hot a workplace can make it difficult for office workers to focus on their daily duties. In one of the surveys, 22% of workers complained that too hot a workspace negatively affected their concentration. And another 11% of polled people said that too cold a workplace made it hard to work. Those temperature preferences may vary depending on a person's metabolic rates and physiological habits. Helsinki University of Technology and the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory researched and discovered the highest productivity temperature. It's about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, if the temperature rises higher to around 74 degrees Fahrenheit, the overall enthusiasm at the workplace begins to fall. So, if you're not satisfied with your workplace temperature, it makes sense to dress in layers or move to a conference room where you can adjust the air conditioner as you like. Perhaps it will help you boost work productivity. And if not, remember the magical reflexology tricks we discussed earlier. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.